Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make a switch for animation, turning it on and off. Kind of like a, a toggle switch for animation. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at freeadobeflashtutorials at gmail.com. If you want to check out some other Flash tutorial websites or learn some more about Flash, make sure to check out my uh, website at freeadobeflashtutorials.com. Alright, let's make um, a toggle switch for animation. First of all, we need to make or we need to animate a sequence. Um, in order to do so, I'm just going to make a simple shape tween. Um, so let's make a shape. I'm going to select the shape and make it a movie clip by pressing F8. Inside the movie clip, I'm going to make my sequence. I'll insert a blank frame here. Say, I want to create our shape tween. So we have our sequence. Now, out on the, the top layer, we're going to call this layer animation. We're also going to call this movie clip animation underscore mc for movie clip. Now we want to make a couple of new layers. First of all, let's make a layer for our action script. I'm going to label it action, put it at the bottom and lock it so we don't put anything on there on accident. And I'm going to make another layer for my button. And to construct my button I'm going to go to my rectangle primitive tool I'm going to take my rectangle tool and I'll also turn it into a movie clip by pressing F8. Inside this movie clip, I'm going to make two frames. So I'm going to press Alt and stretch it over to the second frame, which will copy and paste it automatically. And on my first frame, I'm going to label this Play Animation. I want to, when a user clicks on this button, the animation will play. Let's line these up. And on our second frame, we're going to write stop animation. like that. And we're going to name this movie clip Button MC. So if we test our movie right now, these two movie clips are just going to repeat. Let's go down to our actions frame uh, layer and open up our actions frame. Our palette. First of all, we first thing we need to do is turn those animations off. So we'll call on animation underscore MC until it's a stop. Open and close parentheses. Next, we're going to do the same thing with our button. Call on button MC, stop. So if we were to test our movie now, both of those movie clips would stop on their very first frame. Next, we want to turn our button into something that we can press. So to do that, We'll call on button underscore MC and set it to on press equals function. Open and close parenthesis and then open and close bracket. Inside that bracket, we'll we'll tell the computer what to do or the flash component what to do when you press on the button. And so we want to basically when you press on the button that the animation will play, and that our button. MC will go onto its second frame. And so to do so, we're going to write an if statement. So we're going to start by saying if and start open uh, parenthesis. And this comes our condition. So it's going to check to see if a uh, condition. And we're going to say button, if button underscore MC period underscore current frame. 
is equal to 1, which is two equal signs, then comes in our brackets. This, meaning button and C, go to and stop on frame 2. And animation and C play. That will basically check and see which frame the button is already on. And if the button is on frame 1, we want the button to go to frame 2 and our animation animated sequence to play. Make sure that is in its own curly brackets. Okay, now if it's already on frame, um, if it's already on frame two, which means else, or if it's in, on any other frame, we want it to perform a different action. We want it to go to and stop on frame one. to stop. And we'll close that bracket. So first we have our animated sequences stopping and then when you press on the button MC it's going to check to see which frame to see if and if it's on frame one if our button MC is on frame one it's going to go to frame two and it's going to play sequence. If it's not on frame 1, it will go to frame 1, or if, if it's on frame 2, rather, then it'll go to frame 1 and it'll stop our sequence. Let's test our movie. Okay, first of all, both of them are stopping. That's good. And when you press down, it goes to frame 2 inside of our button MC, and our animated sequence plays. Now, if it's on frame 2 and you click press it, button MC will go back to frame 1 and our animation will stop. Kind of like a toggle switch. And if you wanted this sequence to stop at the end, all you'd have to do is put in an action, a little thing that says stop on the last frame of this animated sequence. So there you have it. Toggle switch for animation. Um, if you have any questions or comments on this, please feel free to email me at freeadobeflashtutorials at gmail.com. And if you have any questions or if you want to learn more or find some other great sites, check out my website at freeadobeflashtutorials.com. Thank you very much.